Hello everyone, I'm Sergeant Brian Aaron. I work at the Pierce County Jail. I've worked there for about nine years. Just wanted to spend some time with you guys for story time with Sheriff. Today I'm going to read Curious George, Snow Day. It's an adaptation by Rotem Moscovich off of one of the television shows. George woke up to a wonderful surprise. It had snowed all night. George was curious about all that clean, white snow. Maybe he could build something out of it. You go outside, George, said the man with the yellow hat. I'll make us some cocoa for later. This was going to be a perfect day. George went out to play. Uh-oh, he sank right into the fluffy powder. Bill, George's friend and neighbor, came by. We do not have any trouble walking on the snow. Hey, George, Bill said, I have an extra pair of cross-country skis you can have. Then Bill showed George how to ski by making zigzags through the snow. George could not wait to try it for himself. With skis, George could stay on top of the snow and he followed Bill uphill. Suddenly, they heard a noise. Oink, 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 oink. Bill said, I'm going to find out what that is. You wait here. George waited on top of the hill in the cold. His house looked so small and warm. George wanted to get home for his cocoa. Was Bill coming back? Hey, George, Bill shouted from the bottom of the hill. I couldn't find whatever made that sound, but I have to head home now. Keep the skis and have fun. So George did, for a while. When George was tired, he skied down the hill toward home until he hit a rock. His skis flew off and George tumbled the rest of the way down. George picked himself up at the bottom of the hill. What would he do now? He spotted two children pulling a sled. They were walking in the snow, but they did not have skis. How did they do it? It had to be those wide, flat shoes they wore. Vinny, I think he likes our snowshoes, the girl said. George nodded. Vicky and I live on the other side of the hill, said Vinny. If you come home with us, we'll lend you our snowshoes so you can get home too. Climb aboard the sled. It was fun to sail down another hill, but now George was even farther from his house. Here you go, monkey, Vicky said. She gave George her snowshoes and climbed on the sled. Bye, monkey. Good luck. George began his long journey home. He was cold and tired, and climbing up the hill was hard work. The thought of a nice steaming cup of cocoa kept him going. Oink! George looked up. There was that noise again. He decided to follow it. A cold lost pig. What was he doing out here all by himself? And how could George rescue the poor pig? George remembered how Vicky and Vinny had rescued him. What George needed was a sled. It had to be flat and big enough for the pig to sit on. A fallen sign nearby looked like a good choice. What a ride. When George got home, he found his neighbor, Farmer Renkins, talking to the man with the yellow hat. Thanks for bringing my pig home, George, the farmer said. He got out la last night before it snowed. Good work, George, said the man with the yellow hat. There's some cocoa waiting for you inside. That was exactly what George had hoped to hear. Skiing, snowshoeing, sledding, and now cocoa. It had been the perfect snowy day. And that's the end of the story. I appreciate you tuning in to listen to it. I uh, wish everybody a happy holidays.